Hello everybody, welcome to the show! I'm SM Sithlord, this is twitch.tv slash Somnium Space, and every week right here I do the two hour build session where I build a different thing each time, very large spectrum of things that I build here, and this week it's going to be only my second waterfront build ever here. Um, last time we, over, over there where I'm circling with my mouse, off in the distance, there was a, uh, a waterfront club that had a little dance floor and everything built off into the water. That was a little uh, a little strange, you know, a little modern, having a club over the water. Um, this is going to be maybe a bit more classic because it's going to be a kayaks down there in the waterfront right here. Um, so you'll be able to, when the kayaks are, are, are when, you, when you get your kayak, you'll be able to just paddle in here and get off of the docks and check out the island. Which is actually pretty important because you see that this is an island. This is very much an island and the only way you're getting here is getting wet right now but after the kayaks are there you can paddle over there and you'll be good to go so let's um get the the docks ready so people can be parking their kayaks in here i'm going to delete a chunk of this where we're at this is a medium parcel not a large parcel so i'm going to delete some of these things to free up some parcel credits Oops, wrong button. okay now we've got a lot to work with now the first thing i want to experiment with out here are wooden docks like like traditional wooden docks. So let's try some of that with some shapes that are. Well, I just realized that this, uh, when I'm placing the block, it ray casts the ground. That's cool. <laughs> if I can place it underwater, it knows where underwater is from the ray cast. Okay, um, I'll zoom in here and stretch this out to be a piece of, uh, or a plank of wood. I actually made a dock similar to what I have in my mind on the, ar the, the, um, the arcade parcel over there called the High Score Arcade over there near City Center where I'm circling with my mouse right now, off in the distance by that building. Um, but it was like a weird, it wasn't um, lakefront property over there. I actually made a pool of a make-believe lake and put a, uh, a little wooden bridge in there. I'm gonna try something similar to uh, what I did there and see how it looks here. And if I'm not digging the, uh, the classic look of the wood docks, I might go for something more modern and neon. Or maybe a mix of the two. Okay, we want the this to be pretty close to the water, but not in the water. I'm thinking like this. I don't think we have to worry about the tide coming up. Otherwise, we'd have to, you know, have a sandbag object to put a link, uh, along the, the lakefront so we wouldn't flood, right? But um, I, I think we're pretty consistent with the water level. So I'm going to put this just maybe four or five inches above the water, maybe six inches there. Back a little bit here. And I want to make sure I get my scale right, as always. So I'm going to spawn a door, my favorite door right here. And see how big my walkway is. My walkway is too big, even. Let me shrink it down some. My walkway doesn't need to be bigger than the width of a door piece. Okay, we'll go with that. A little bit bigger than the width of a door piece. Start here, and then we clone it up. Well, that looks really cool right there, as little steps coming up the side. That's not what I'm here to do right now. I'm here. Now, I want these to be perfectly spaced out. And to make them perfectly spaced out, I need to do this. I need to make a temporary block that is the spacer. You know, I used to work in ceramic tile. And um, spacers, man, sometimes you got to use spacers, especially if things are going to be slipping down on the wall. Well, here I'm just using it so everything could be perfectly lined up. And then we're going to come back and plop out that spacer like that, and we'll have this perfect space in between each of these points.
Hey. Now that's a pretty good amount out there. However, we got a lot uh, more space to work with. Let's see exactly how much space we have to work with. Put this thing over here and we could make this go all the way. Wow, all the way. All, all, all the way. Holy crap, it's still going. How far is all the way? There it is. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Let's see here. How many objects is this? We don't want to use all of our objects on individual planks of wood. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Like two gifts there. Hmm. We might try a different style. Let's try this style over here. Because if we could pull off a similar effect with less shapes, that'll allow us to get more onto this parcel. About my options here I could use a texture that looks like it's a bunch of planks the only downside to using a texture that looks like it's a bunch of planks is that when you look in between the planks you won't see the water in between the planks like it's a rickety old um, pier however it would look similar to this But with the slats in and I think I'm gonna go with this and I'll replace this texture with the texture that kind of looks like it has um, space in between the slats it's because this object is one object and this object is 12 objects so we get the same kind of effect especially after we put the dark lines in between the planks here so we'll roll with this let's get the um, dock holes here I'm still not entirely sure that I want to go with this wooden setup but if I do go with this wooden setup for the dock it's gonna be this one closer to the camera. This is reminding me of um, Crystal Lake, uh, Friday, no not Friday, Jason Voorhees, what is that? Friday the 13th, this is reminding me of Friday the 13th. There's lots of lakes in that movie and those games, it does have some games. Wow, this is some deep, deep water. And if I'm able to, to pull this off with just a few shapes, I get to build like a whole clubhouse on the shore right in um, behind this thing. So I'm pretty sure I am going to go with the wooden style dock and I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have these individual planks everywhere. There's still the question of how far out this dock is going to go because it can go all the way out there and what shape it will be when it does reach that far. Will it be like a U-shape? Maybe it will be. That'd be pretty neat. Thank you. 
I'm kind of thinking of two docks. I'm kind of thinking of a short dock and a long dock. Okay, let's start thinking of the clubhouse, actually. Clubhouse is going to need a foundation of concrete. Yeah. Blow it up. It'd be about yay big. Maybe yay big. You have reached the voice mailbox of Kino. Just wait for the tone. And then we'll need some kind of steps leading down from here down to the docks. Okay, I see a pretty cool opportunity for a certain kind of stairs that have a real handmade kind of look, actually, where the are pieces of wood kind of set into the dirt like this. So people, it gives their, them a little bit of footing as they walk down to the actual docks. Let's see how this looks. And, if, if this turns out well, it has a nice look because each piece is oriented just a little bit differently, so it will perfectly line, well, um, approximately line up with the ground underneath it, and the approximate lineup is what gives it its character. If it was perfectly lined up, it wouldn't look too uh, natural. I, I, I feel a little like uh, Bob Ross here, man, because a lot of times he's he's putting trees in there. I, I almost said spawning trees, but no, he, he paints his trees onto this canvas there. And uh, in nature, there's a lot of organized disorder. So uh, he, he's always like, well, we're going to put a happy little plank over here. And maybe this guy, maybe he got trampled a little bit and they had to break off the edge. So he's just a little bit shorter than the other guys. But uh, he's still good. He still works out here and we'll put it down in the sand. Orient him a little bit with his buddies here. It's good. Now, um, it doesn't quite look good because I need to put some rocks. I've never, have I spawned rocks before? I don't think rocks are a prop. I think I made rocks with um, spheres. I think I'll do some of that. But there are plants. So let me grab a plant. Actually, not a potted plant. I want a tree plant. Tree-ish plant. Here. No, not this one. This beach will have this kind of plant on it. I, now I'm thinking, well, hey, if we make a giant plant, can we make it look like a marsh or a swamp land or something like that? A little bit. That's not the worst, actually. I put a couple of those on the shoreline, maybe. And that looks like some serious shrubbage going on.
the Charles River. I could die right now, but I'm just happy. I never felt that before. Now I got two options here. I could make these docks go all the way out to the, the edge of the parcel. Or I could give a little bit of space between the end of the docks and the edge of the parcel and spawn buoys. I'd create the buoys because there's no buoy prop. It's kind of a edge case here. I, I could make some buoys floating in the water out there. I don't know how that would look. Let's just see how that looks real quick. I kind of also want to make fishing poles. I want to model a fishing pole with a bobber in the water. That's a little bit intricate. Let's start with these, um, these buoys. Many different styles of buoys to choose from. I'm looking at uh, some references here. Let's not do this kind. Let's do this other far more recognizable kind. This. Too bad uh, there's no seals to congregate on this thing. <laughs> Man, the old seals love hanging out on these. And then we would need a square thing over here. I think they have bells up here usually. Well, ours not. Ours is not gonna have a bell. Ours is gonna have. A spot my beacon.
don't know, maybe I want an orange light, not a red light. Let's see if we can finish off this buoy here. It only has a couple more pieces. We'll see if it was worth the effort. Yeah, I think that looks pretty buoy like Yeah, yeah. So let's uh, put the uh, crossbars on it. I think we'll be done with the buoy to we'll move on. Is this the first buoy ever constructed in Somnium? There's a legit chance of that because Waterfront Parcels is only like, uh, they're only a couple weeks old, one week old. This could be the first ever buoy, man. Maybe. I'd have to walk around and look, but possible. Yeah. 
Okay. That looks good. We got the little box in there. I don't know what the hell's in that box, but I bet it's super important. It's all the equipment. You know, there are is a there is a network of buoys floating across the oceans of the entire planet. It is a scientific um, cooperation. Uh, it, it's a cooperative effort between multiple nations to have uh, to monitor the oceans by having these kind of buoys, kind of like this, way more high tech, laid out in a grid across the entire ocean. And they monitor stuff like the temperature of the water, the, the current, they're, they're going up and down and all that kind of stuff. They monitor everything that they can. And then all that information is fed into a database that is shared between countries. And that's a big deal because a lot of times countries have their own research that they're trying to do and own. But as soon as you start opening up the data sets, it's like public research and everybody can check it out. And there's actually a vast network of buoys that record this data and feed their data into this publicly accessible database of scientific knowledge of the oceans on Earth. And anybody can write a program that pulls that data down and parses it and analyzes it, visualizes it, comes to conclusions and with stuff. Um, and that's kind of what was in my mind as I was making this buoy, because I actually had to do that in college. I had to pull all that data and try to visualize it. and. Um, now I made a buoy of my own. Maybe the metaverse needs some kind of uh, ocean management system to, or ocean monitoring system so everybody can see what the oceans are doing in the metaverse and if they have to, you know, build that sandbag model like I was talking about earlier because if these, if this lake rises from global metaverse warming, there's going to be some issues. I mean, all these steps are going to be underwater, these plants are going to die. we got to think about that, man. Okay, this buoy kicks ass. It has a light and a spotlight on it, but besides that, it's only shapes. How many shapes does it have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven shapes. Did I count right? I'm gonna do that again. Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That was faster. And um, eleven shapes and two lights, and the lights cost twenty and fifty. So that's fifty, sixty, seventy. It's about 80 parcel credits for this one buoy. So we're not gonna do more parcel, more buoys. Just one buoy. Or maybe I'll do a couple more buoys next to it that don't have their lights on. That would be a possibility. Maybe we don't need the other buoy. But I gotta position this buoy right where I want it. So I'm gonna multi-select it all. I'll move it out over here a little bit. And I could actually move it out towards the water some more. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go back to the daytime here. Click save because I was happy with my buoy there. And uh, let's see what we're going to be building next here. Do these docks come out far enough? Usually I'm worried about impacting the skyline, but right now I'm worried about impacting the um, dock line. <laughs> and I want to be as impactful as I can without being tacky, just like when I was trying to build tall buildings. Um, so we don't need to build these all the way out to the buoy, and in fact if I did build it all the way out to the buoy, it would kind of take some away from the buoy, because it would look like the buoy's in the middle of the docks instead of out there in the water. So I think we're good here with these lengths of docks. Maybe a little bit longer, because the canoes ain't small. They're full-size canoes. So I'll get this and drag it out. And these two things got to go further down now. Wow, they got way down. These are the tallest trees known to man to make these posts. And then over here, I was thinking of having stairs in the middle of the platform. And that's what I was working on before I got distracted by the buoy idea. Let's see how that goes.
Okay, now this would be cool because then we can go straight into the platform and we don't need a weird um, low-tech little s steps in the sand like we have on the stock over here. We can have much larger, um, hopefully going all the way to the platform. Maybe not unless we do a couple more steps. One more step, two more steps, like three more steps. That's a lot of steps. Oh, so close. That's okay. That's close enough. We can just extend this thing out towards it. Like so. It doesn't matter how much you know about implementation Writing layers or any of these kind of video game terms. None of that matters if you can't write music well. thing for me is always learning your craft and it doesn't matter where the music is going ultimately this is when it's in your head and you're still thinking about it you've got to know how to basically see it through completion practically on your own these days and have it stand on its own with everything else that's out there doesn't come down to what plugins you have. I mean, sure, having a, the right reverb helps and everything. Uh, it really comes down to what's, what's in your head and what's in here, what's in your heart. And those two things are what make the best video game music, in my opinion. talking about video game music, I'm just talking about music. You, you have to be able to feel it. Have to know how to take those in your head and in your heart and say something meaningful and I don't think that's necessarily something you learn in school or something you learn from reading a book or watching uh, YouTube videos or anything I think that's more something you learn from doing it from trying it over and over and over and, and I want some big boulders here Boulders. How am I going to make boulders with shapes? With ellipse shapes? Sphere-like shapes? With a rockish texture on them? I might have to upload a custom texture to get the perfect rocks. That carpet? I can make a carpet rock? No. Actually, I want this kind of 
Some places do have perfectly round rocks. It happens. Well, not like perfectly round, but smooth, kind of like I have here. Okay, looking good. I gotta start thinking of what this building is gonna look like. How far in are we? We're about 40 minutes into the build. Looking good. All right, uh, I'm gonna take a break for just a second. I'll be back in about two minutes to continue here and I'll be thinking about what to build in this thing. And I'll see you all in just a minute.
All right, I'm back. So we're sticking with me through the intermission there. And we're back building this, um, the boathouse. We're ready to start doing the actual boathouse part. Fix my screens here. Okay, um, I don't think we're gonna have the boathouse coming all the way to the surface. We're gonna be sticking near the shoreline here. Let's get a door spawned in there to get the height down. Okay. Let's see here. This is only a medium parcel, so we can't go too extreme with what we're going to put in here, especially as far as media. I kind of want to put a website in here because if this is used for the kayaking club or something like that, having a web page in there is cool because you could do a lot on a web page. A lot of information can go on a web page. Um, on the other hand, it's 50 parcel credits for that. So let's get some lights in here and see how that's going to affect the parcel count and we'll work with the budget from there. Something about the, the kayaks that makes me want to use earthy tones. I already used the wood, we're using the concrete. I don't know about this blue glass. I'm kind of thinking just maybe regular grayish glass. Might be best here. Oh man, I was talking into the wrong mic there for a second. <laughs> Put it back here. All right, so I was saying uh, I want to use the earthy tones because it's the kayak club. Um, so the browns, the, the, the woods, the concretes, the rocks, the plants, it's all good. I want some glass. However, I don't want futuristic blue glass. I'm going to use some gray looking glass here. Like 
water. Be like water. Give it a little bit of a scoop here. I don't usually use these things. Let's try using these things here, these walls. It's not exactly clear whether they even truly exist or could be shown to it makes sense. in the physical universe. If they do, if one day physics finds a use for them, that's great. But if not, that's great.
Cool, cool. All right. This is gonna be a pretty tall building, but hopefully that works out. I'm just gonna basically cube this thing off and then think about uh, adding in the interiors there. And the ceiling, I think, is gonna be the big draw to this because it has to look attractive, realistic, and let all that natural light in uh, because I don't wanna put a whole bunch of lights in there because I wanna, I wanna use most of my uh, parcel credits here on the um, actual docks. So there will be a couple of lights. There has to be a couple of lights right here, then maybe out here. But that only leaves us with 128 parcel credits for the rest of the building. So that's why we got to think economy style here. Economize, eco round if you watch Pro CSGO. It was just called Pro CS in my day. There was no Counter-Strike Go, it was just Counter-Strike. But uh, Eco Round is when you don't have, uh, well, you have some kind of um, budget. In this case, it's parcel credits in Counter-Strike Go. It's the money to buy weapons at the start of the round, but you don't have enough credits to do everything that you want. So what you do is you make uh, do with what you have. In Counter-Strike, that means using your pistols for a round and saving up your, um, Counter-Strike Bucks credits. Here it is saving up my parcel credits by using shapes instead of um, heavier objects. Good. And when I say thing, when I say things like heavy or light, I'm actually talking about the performance impact of it, like a, a uh, real-time rendered light with shadows. That would be considered a heavy object because it's process intensive to render it. While the shapes that I'm spawning here, these would be not heavy objects. The light objects.
it up here and bring it up tall up because I'm going to be building some uh, trusses over this that go all the way from the entry point all the way up to the building back there. I think that's what I'm going to be playing around with. Let's see, it's going to take one, two, three for each little awning thing. One, two, three, six, nine, twelve. It's not too bad. Sure. I can dig it. See how abstract I can make this building with it still looking cool here. We have 100 parcel credits left and there is no media in here whatsoever yet. And it's 50 parcel credits for a video or a web tab. So if I want to budget to have a parcel or a web tab in there, the time starts now. Um, I don't think so though. I think I'm gonna budget for having a bunch of gifts in there, but no lights and no video or web tab. That means I need ample light coming in through the sides. What is the content going to be inside of this building is what I'm thinking right now. This is the lodge. Um, we need a stage of some sort. What do we have for windows?
this building reminds me of the Internet Archives building, which is um, ironically very classic architecture, like old school stuff, not modern stuff. And that's, that's ironic because, I mean, it's the Internet Archives. That's supposed to be all the, about the future, right? But it's so retro. These windows remind me of it. They might have the same kind of windows on that building. Maybe. Or it's just the arches, because once you get inside, there are a lot of arches over there. Okay, let's get creative. Let's get creative. Let's get creative by saying the same thing twice. That's not creative. We gotta be unique. Um, what color is this building's theme gonna be? We could make it blue or we can go ahead and make it brown, just orange. Orange! We don't, I, I don't think I've ever made an orange building. Well, maybe that kind of orange. Not this kind of orange. Kind of yellowish. Okay, now for the creativeness, instead of just patching this with just a regular piece, we're going to actually make this piece bigger than the pieces around it. Not too much bigger. In fact, it might be bigger enough already right there. We're getting there. We almost have a structure and we got the docks. I'm, I'm happy with the docks. Awesome buoy, plants, all that's good out here. But getting the meat into the rest of the building there, we only have 60 parcel credits left to do it. We don't even have all of our walls up. However, we got most of our walls and we have this cool walkway coming to it. So we took care of the front part. Let's just think of these side walls. Don't want to use too many parcel credits on them because everything that goes in them from here uh, I, I want to use a lot of parcel credits on the inside here, so 
We could do a solid wall. We could do one of these prefab walls or you do a sheet of glass or a combination of those things. A big sheet of glass on this building wouldn't quite fit in. So let's, let's try to use some of these things. This is kind of like a big sheet of glass, except for it also has walls. Yep, that'll do it. And the reason that's so good is because on the inside, it has the wood texture that matches the rest of the walls. We're going to plug those gaps in a minute. But first, let's clone this thing. Move it over here. Now, do I want white plugs or brown plugs? I think I want white plugs, yeah. I want white plugs. All right. I'll tell you the truth. As expected, these are most, more substantial on the inside than the outside, but they are important on the outside, especially when nighttime rolls around because you can't see through cracks. That would look really weird. Okay, got the structure, got the docks, got the intro. Now we can do a little detail pass here, but not too much of a detail pass. Actually, you can't do a detail pass. I gotta focus on content on the inside of that building. The outside looks fine. We need a, an image up front that's gonna say, I don't know, kayak, kayak club or whatever the building title is. Then on the inside, a bunch of chairs and stuff. This is going to use the remaining 56 parcel credits for show. So let's get a sticker from Imager. No, not Imager. Giphy, that's what it's called. No, nah, they're vacuuming the cat. Um, I'm looking for... The cat getting vacuumed is, is throwing me off. I can't remember what I was looking for. <laughs> Oh yes, a sticker for a sign. I'll just search for sign and search for stickers because we don't know what the actual one is going to be yet. Here we go, New Jersey. Oh man, what else do we got? Man, we're reopen. Search for docks.
<laughs> Don't be crabby. Maybe that'll be the one. Copy image. Link. And paste it in here. That's a crappy sign, man. I'll, I'll have to think of a better sign to grab there. I'm, I kind of just want to put the New Jersey one, even though it doesn't really make any sense. <laughs> Let's see here, copy, image, link. What else could we put there? New York, New York, New York. Manhattan, well, that's like an island. That kind of makes sense. Maybe I'll grab that one. Okay, building title slash marquee goes right there. There are no neons yet. I don't know if I'm gonna work any neons into here unless they're inside of the building because like I said, there's only, um, how many are left now? Uh, 40, 61 parcel credits left. Is that right? Yeah, that sounds right. Okay, so with these, we gotta focus on the inside. I think I want to make a stage or some kind of orientation area. I've actually never gone kayaking. However, I um, hiked up a place that was prone to flash floods and had to go through something similar to kayak training, I would believe, <laughs> where there was, it was like a stage. There was a video and, we're, and the dude to stand there to talk about it and all the all the, the bleachers for people to sit. So let's do some of that and try to, um, if there's enough parcel credits, we'll work in a billboard or something, but I don't think there will be. So let's get some chairs in here and see how it goes. First off, before the chairs, we need a um, carpeted area. pull this off because this right place for a stage would be against the wall. Okay, maybe I need to do like a, I was going to say a circular stage. I've never done a hexagon stage. Okay. And a hexagon stage go right in the middle like a circle stage.
chairs. We'll go around it. There are furniture. Usually I use the bar stools. But here I'm going to use these chairs. That's the wrong height. Let's get this height down. Be perfect. There we go. It is perfect. We're going to need lots of chairs. Lots and lots of chairs where we're going. Not too many. Give me that many. We got one, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four, five on the side. One, two, three, four, five on that side. One, two, three, four. Six edges to our shape here. Doesn't matter. We don't need to be that symmetrical. As long as everybody can see the guy on the stage. These are the cheap seats back here. <laughs> you can only see the side of the performer. One well, time I bought tickets to something that warned me that I would be seated behind a pretty substantial pillar. <laughs> and it would obstruct my view and I'd have to be looking around it the whole time. We don't have any pillar here, but we're still looking on like the side of the stage, which is a bit weird. So I, I might actually um, move these closer out here. This is like um, a COVID, COVID spacing, man. Six feet between chairs. All right, we are now at 363 parcel credits. How far into we in this build? I think we have about half an hour left in this build. So let's see what we can do. That's that's a good amount of time too, because I mean, what is this? 37 parcel credits left to uh, squeeze into here. We could do that in half an hour. Um, 
it looks pretty cool here, actually. The inside is still what I'm worried about. So the inside being too barren. We could add some plants in here, but I think the main draw is going to be the stage. Let's, let's do get some plants in here, though. Holy, I, I don't know how to spell kayak. I spelled it correctly. Are you kidding me? Okay. <laughs> I like the kayak DJs. Oh, we got an elephant twerking. I don't think that is fitting in there. We got um, cool little kayaks. This, this is probably fit in well. Maybe it will fit in well right on the stage too. Copy image. I wanted to put a media board like behind the stage that the person, the presenter on the stage could be referencing, but a cool decoration uh, flat on the stage might be worth it as well. Now that is a kayaking stage. Twenty parcel credits left. That's enough for a spotlight. However, maybe it's enough for something way cooler than a spotlight. What are we lacking here? We have chairs. We have the stage. I wish I could put another light out here, but I don't think that we can. This doesn't need to be here anymore. 21 parcel credits, that's multiple gifts. We can get some gifts in here. Maybe we could do something funny in the water. With fish swimming around. Yeah. Well, I mean, this goldfish one could be pretty cool. I think we're gonna try it. It's made for the top, oh, for looking on the side. I'm going to be putting it on the top down kind of perspective, but it could still work out very well. Let's try it. They're giant shark goldfish. Just how it is. Okay, we still have 15 parcel credits left. 
we got to use shapes and we got to fill in this inside area with those last 15. So let me think here. I can make some speakers. I could do some abstract art. I could hang some stuff in the corners. I could add trusses. What can I do with shapes? like an inverse dome over this thing. my mic cord all right click save i'm liking it but we got to make some hard decisions here on how to use these last 20 no last 14 parcel credits that could be two gifts four shapes i can de delete one shape and do three gifts i don't think gifts are a big deal here how about neons we don't have any neons here at all we could add one neon and that might add a lot, and I think I see a good place for it. So let's see. That's not a neon. All right. That actually adds a lot, especially for the nighttime. You can see it from far away. Um, we could do a couple more neons. Neons are five credits each. We could do one more neon of five shapes. Only if we really could utilize this neon. Otherwise, five shapes might be the way to go instead of neon. Um, it will be your friend. 
no more than the table you built it on will be. I think that might be important just because uh, we want it to look real marshy down there. Lots of foliage. Okay, we got eight parcel credits here. And the, the place that I wanted to put this neon was this little landing strip right here, leading all the way to it to draw you in. And that's not such a bad idea. Neons to draw you in as little walking paths works out pretty well. Um, it's not going to work out well here, though, because this is not a flat surface. Okay, so Let's put some trees on the land here. We only have six parcel credits left. And we have a whole bunch of trees on the back of the parcel, so we might as well even it out here. Put some in the front. Okay, speaking of uh, evening out the things that you already got in your scene there, did you know that Porgs were added to the last jedi because when they were filming on that island there were actually birds flying around and that doesn't make sense because star wars was like a future space movie so they either had to digitally cut out the birds or make them alien creatures so they went with the second option so when you see the far away shot of that island in uh, the last jedi those are real birds flying around not porg but when they get in close the you know it's, it's populated by porg that way it could be star wars creatures Porg is a collective noun. That's why I didn't say porgs. That would be improper Star Wars English. One more prop here, man. These are only one credit parcel, uh, one parcel credit each. That's awesome. Put this over here and let's scale these up around a little bit.
I can't think of a better color to put for that, that sphere up there than white. Because anything else would start looking a little weird. But hey, let me click save. This is looking good. We are um, at exactly the parcel credit limit. So we're not going any further than this until we come in and we slim some stuff down and open them up. We got a walkway. We come in here. We got the chairs. We go out here. We have paths that take us all the way to where our canoes will be parked either sideways right here or they can pull in here and the awesome buoy which turned out i mean along with the docks and the beachfront itself as being the focal point of the whole thing all right that is the build let me upload this Then do I dare check it out on web? Somnia web does not yet support uh, waterfront parcels, but it's coming soon. Um, so I would actually wouldn't expect this to look very right on Somnia web right now because it's such a huge parcel compared to the regular parcel sizes. But come next week or, or pretty soon, we'll be able to go in there and uh, we won't be able to kayak, I don't think, in uh, Somnia web. But we'll be able to see the building and hang out there. And if we want to kayak, we got to come into Somnium Unity here, full Somnium space, and um, hang out there. Now, this island, I actually get lost trying to find. <laughs> I've tried to find this island in the past because you start at the city center. And I've wandered around and didn't know how the hell to get here. So I'm going to make a little mental note. Okay, there's Spawn. There's the big island. And this is the one behind the big island. It's the only one behind the big island. So I should be able to find this. Let's get in there and check it out, I think. Um, because I can't spend any more parcel credits here. We've still got about 20 minutes for me to hoof it over there. Actually, I should spawn pretty close. So before I close this, though, I'm going to take a screenshot. Of the build. Okay. What does that go into? There it is. Cool. All right. clients because believe it or not i have downloaded and installed um the new star wars game not called rogue squadron rogue something but i don't have my vr set up here because i moved my computer recently so i need to mount my uh, i like i prefer the lighthouse um, the vive lighthouse so i'm gonna have to mount my sensors here before i can get that going and actually check this out in vr but soon, and as soon as I do that, oh, you can bet I'm gonna be playing not only Somnium Space, but Dirt Rally, because I love driving cars. I can't stay away from Bridge Crew, because I love Star Trek so much, but also the new Star Wars flying game. Gotta beat it, I got to. It's like one of the few Star Wars games I haven't played ever. There I am. <laughs> Underwater. Oh, I remember what I was doing now. This is that other um, beachfront build I was talking about. This build actually changed a little bit. What we're looking at here is kind of like a hybrid of the two changes because this thing was moved over there next to that microphone that we see floating in the air. I know it because I saw it on Somnium Web. Anyways, I'm gonna bail off of here and go to that island because there's city center. We saw city center. So off over here, past the big island is the island that I'm going for. 
take a dive. <laughs> that pose that this, this uh, avatar does when he's free falling, when you're in non-VR mode, when you're in VR mode, it's doing IR, or not IR, um, IK, so it kind of moves natural, right? But when it does the uh, pre-scripted animations, that pose, when he's free falling, it reminds me of the Matrix because that's like the same pose that uh, Trinity did in the beginning of one of the Matrixes. It was either one or two. I think it was one. That was the first time that the camera froze and did the whole pan around 360 degree thing. It was when Trinity hit that pose with both legs in the air and her arms out like she was about to pounce. I'm gonna walk up onto my docks like I'm a swamp thing here. I don't have a boat. As a matter of fact, I, th uh, I think you have to get the boats uh, at auction because they're NFTs. Maybe uh, I go bum a ride in somebody else's boat. Okay, I gotta get past this island because on the other side of this big island is the little island that I'm headed towards. Wow, look at that massive structure right there. Hey, I know this. I know that cat. 779, huh? Parcel is this? Is this seven seven nine? Television advertisements. Um, kind of keep fresh. It's a great slogan. They managed to convince the entire continent, if not the globe, that eating a foot of bread was somehow good for them. <laughs> Getting a little sidetracked, but that's a crypto kitty, isn't it? It looks like a crypto kitty. Maybe it's just a crypto-looking kitty. Anyways, let's continue our trek here. I believe that's our island. Or is that our island? We're a tiny island. We're one of these two islands. Um, I'm not exactly sure which one we are. Oh, we're the one straight ahead, I bet. Look at that building. That building looks nice. I love the texture on its side. Like a monolith. It hasn't popped in yet. It's actually still showing the old build because I'm so far away that it has the um, the old LOD there. And when I get close enough, it's going to load in the full thing. I get to see how it goes. Walking up from underneath the fishies. while I was standing here. All right. Let's start from the front.
good so far. Get the docks. Walking around the docks. I can see the fishies swimming. Oh. Well, that's cool. It's kind of inaccessible from this side unless you jump. There's the buoy man. Cool, cool. Ah, ah! <laughs> Jumped into the water again. So that's the build for today. Um, I'm not sure if any events are going to be happening in this build, this structure right away, but eventually there's going to be some kayaking stuff going on in here. Now, before I uh, sign off here and end the stream, I'm going to actually run over there to that building, which is another um, a build that we did here on the stream a couple weeks ago. However, um, after I do builds, they get remodeled for events, for parties that happen in, in them. And I haven't seen this since it's been remodeled and I've seen all kinds of stuff. Look, that's crypto art right there. That was just a placeholder when I made it. up there his last uh, stream DJ Mr. J and I think most people are creative in one way or the other a lot of people feel like they have a book in them or they have a there's actually a teleporter in here idea. and you can sit around and talk about that all you want but until it is actually wow really these are the parcels that have teleporters count. on them Teleporter way out there. Awesome. All right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, I'll end it like I began it. I'm uh, SM Sith Lord here. This is twitch.tv slash Somnium Space. Got to point the camera at my avatar's face. Um, every Friday, it's Friday for me, depending on what time zone you're in, it might be a different day, like late at night or early in the morning. But for me, it's Friday morning, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. right here on twitch.tv slash Space. You can catch me doing a two-hour build just like we did today, just like this building here. Um, also, if you follow the Twitch channel, there is a pretty interesting, uh, well, in addition to the, the events like the disco parties and stuff like that, if you're into the creative stuff, there is an avatar building stream every week. I think it's over the weekend, uh, maybe Saturday, that Mick Yellow hosts. That's the bird man from Somnium, the Somnium bird. And he makes bird avatars from scratch in Blender, throws them through the, the SDK to get them into Somnium. And then the, you always see him popping up in the screenshots from the events from like the disco parties and stuff like that. So if you want to see his uh, avatar get made from scratch, be sure to follow the stream here, same stream. And uh, I think that's the next thing that's coming up. Anyways, it's not today, by the way. It's uh, either tomorrow or over the weekend at some point. Anyways, I'm SM Sith Lord, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out.